In other news, he was a leading candidate for president of UMass before he suddenly pulled himself out of the running earlier this month. Well, today, former Congressman Marty Meehan sits down with our John Keller in Keller at Large. Good morning and welcome a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to one and all. And hey, look what Santa brought me. Former Congressman Marty Meehan, a 1978 graduate of UMass Lowell, who has headed that institution as chancellor since July of 2007. Chancellor, welcome. Great to be here, John. Happy Why? New Year. Happy New Year to you. A few weeks ago, it was reported that you were one of the leading candidates to head the entire UMass system as president. And the spin out of the governor's office was that it was unseemly to have a former politician in the mix. Then you withdrew your name from consideration. What role did this skepticism from the executive branch play in that decision? Well, I actually had been invited to uh, appear before the search committee and get involved in the process. Um, it was supposed to be a, a, a confidential process until the search committee picked finalists, which they hadn't done. Uh, my name leaked out and uh, Frankly, I, uh, upon thinking about it, uh, felt that I wanted to stay at UMass Law, where you have direct contact with faculty and students uh, day in and day out. I, I like the hands-on experience of running a university. So I withdrew from the process. It was not, uh, I, I, let's just say for me, I didn't think it was a very pleasant process uh, to go through. But, uh, but I like what I'm doing, uh, enjoy what I'm doing, and I, I want to support whoever the uh, Board of Trustees ultimately picks. Well, I haven't seen Julian Assange hanging out up at the State House, so somebody leaked your name out, and they usually do that with a purpose. Well, what's the deal with the bad blood between you and the governor? I don't think there's bad blood. I, I like the governor. I, I think we have a good relationship. Uh, he has been helpful uh, to a number of projects that I've had up at UMass Lowell. So I don't think it's a question of uh, bad blood. It's a question of uh, it, it, it just the process itself didn't go that well. And I felt that I, I needed to remove myself because uh, because uh, I like what I'm doing at, at Lowell. And to be honest with you, uh, you know, when there's something like that on my campus, it, it, people get concerned about a potential change of leadership on the campus. And I uh, I enjoy what I'm doing, so um, I'm sure we'll get uh, we'll get a good president, and I'll work with wh with whoever that person is. You know, the president's job is sort of to pick the chancellors and and to run the system as a whole, where the individual chancellors actually run each individual campus. So. Uh, I, I, you can make an argument that I have a better job doing what I'm doing now. Has the executive branch been a uh, help or an impediment to the work you've been doing at UMass Lowell? Well, obviously we've had very serious budget cuts uh, in, in Massachusetts to higher education at a time where, frankly, increasingly people are relying on public higher education in the state. Eighty-eight percent of the graduates of the University of Massachusetts stay here. In a knowledge-based economy, that means basically we're educating the workforce. So there needs to be a, a better commitment, more of a commitment from state government to help fund uh, the University of Massachusetts. And, and there has been incredible cuts. Uh, for example, the, the state only subsidizes UMass to the tune of about 15 to 16 percent of the overall budget of UMass. Individual campuses may vary, but on my campus, about 21 percent of the money comes from the state. When I graduated from UMass Lowell in 1978, the, as you mentioned, uh, about 88 percent of the budget came from the state. So basically we're being privatized. We have to find a way to raise uh, revenue through being entrepreneurial. That's why at Lowell we've increased our research expenditures by 60 percent. We have online learning with, that it has a, a 24 million dollar business for us. So uh, we need to look at innovative ways uh, to generate revenue. But I do think it, it's a critical time for public higher education in the state. We need to get a commitment from the state. And you've got to get more out-of-state students paying the higher tuition, right? That's exactly right. You can't prepare students globally yeah. and then have all the students come from Massachusetts. You have to have a, a mix of students. And we've been doing that at Lowell. We have to do it system-wide. The last point that I'd make is I think it's important that UMass uh, be an independent uh, uh, university. You can't have a top-notch university that's mired in politics. So that's another important step I think Massachusetts needs to take. All right. We'll talk more about what's going on with higher ed in this state. And I also want to take advantage of your expertise with redistricting in the past. When we continue with former Congressman Marty Meehan, Chancellor of UMass Lowell, in a moment. Stay with us.